Good morning, it's me, Dashima, and we'll be doing sun salutations this morning. A little different variation, more advanced, a little more energy to get your day started out amazing, full of miracles and beautiful energy. So just starting at the front of the mat, spread your toes, feet are hip distance apart, tuck your tailbone, lengthen the spine, shoulders roll down and back. On your inhale, arms sweep out and up, reach for the sky, gently arching back if you want. You can place your hands behind your head, spread through your elbows and lift through the heart so you get an even deeper back bend here. And then as you exhale, bow forward. All the way into forward bend, hug your legs, forehead to the shins if you can. Inhale, lengthen, lift your spine, tailbone tilts back, lengthen, palms down to the mat. We're going to ground into the mat here and then jump, step, or float back into plank position. So grounding into the palm, feet back into plank. So you could jump, step, or float, whatever option. Palms under the shoulders, long spine. Tailbone tilts down a bit so you have a nice length in the spine and then bending the elbows slowly, lower your chest down to Chaturanga. Elbows by the side ribs, tuck the toes, inhale, lift the chest, upward facing dog. So that's a difficult transition. If you prefer, just go to your belly and come to Cobra and then exhale, downward dog. Hips to the sky, heels to the earth, lengthen, spread through the fingers, root down to the Thumb in the index, getting really grounded in the palms. Inhale, left leg up to the sky. Exhale, left foot forward. Warrior one, pivot your back foot flat. Inhale, arms sweep out and up. Reach for the sky, beautiful breath here. And then as you exhale, release your hands behind your back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, lift your heart. And as you exhale, bow forward. Coming into what we call humble warrior. So the left knee is 90 degrees, squeezing the palms together, elbows are straight, neck is relaxed, back knee is straight, beautiful breath, rooted into the legs, bond is engaged here, and slowly release. Palms to the mat, step the left foot back, plank position, beautiful breath, and we'll lower slowly, chaturanga, inhale, up dog, exhale, downward dog, inhale, right leg up, lengthen, Exhale, right foot forward, warrior one. Pivot your back foot flat. Inhale, arms sweep out and up. Lengthen, beautiful breath. Release your hands behind your back. Traction your, hip, your knees forward as your hips square to the front. Nice, beautiful breath. Lift your heart. Exhale, humble warrior, bow forward. Squeeze the palms together as you let your neck hang free, opening the shoulders, breathing into the heart center. Shoulders are all about the heart center, so you want to breathe love into yourself. Let your yoga practice be your self-love, prayer, and meditation practice. Releasing your hands back to the mat, and step the left foot forward all the way to the front. Feet together, hug your legs. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Rise back to standing all the way up, and exhale prayer to the heart. Beautiful. Inhale, arms sweep out and up. Gently arching back. Exhale, swan dive. Open the arms, soar forward with the flat back. Hug your legs, forward bend. Inhale, lengthen, lift the chest. Palms down. Jump, step, or float back in the plank. <laughs> and slowly, we're just gonna take the left knee to the left shoulder and take a breath here. Inhale, left leg up and back, downward dog, and legs straight up. So that's downward dog split. Exhale, left knee all the way with left shoulder. We'll do this three times. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, left knee all the way to the left shoulder. Inhale, left leg up and back. And lower the left foot. Inhale, right leg up. Lengthen. Exhale, right knee to the right shoulder. So we're working the core here. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, right knee, right shoulder. All the way up and back on the inhale. Last one. Exhale, all the way forward. Inhale, up and back. Beautiful. Lower the right foot. Now we're just gonna look between the hands. Jump, step, or float to the front of the mat. Bend the knees, sink the hips, lift your toes a bit. 
More weight goes in the heels as you inhale all the way into chair pose. Lower belly pulling in, lengthen the spine. Beautiful breath here. Keep this length in the spine so you can sink your hips as low as you can. Strength is in the leg. They call this chair pose. Sometimes it translates to fire pose because your legs will start to burn after a moment. And then exhale straight in the knees, palms to the heart center. Beautiful. Inhale, arms sweep out and up. Gently arch back. Exhale, bow forward. Forward bend. Inhale, lengthen. Lift the chest. Palms to the earth. Jump, step, or float back. Plank position. On your exhale, lower slowly, chaturanga or your belly. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Hips to the sky. Heels to the earth. Inhale, left leg up. Lengthen. And exhale, left foot forward between the hands. Stay on the right toes. Inhale, rise to standing lunge. So this is a high standing lunge. And as you interlace your fingers above you, get a little gentle back bend here. Lengthen. Traction the left knee forward. Beautiful breath. And exhale, release. Palms down. Drop the right knee down. You're going to pivot your, your left foot out to the left a little. And coming into what we call tripod position. So if you can, take the left hand back for the right foot. Pull the foot really close, coming into a nice quadricep opener. Beautiful breath here. Nice open heart, looking up at the sky. And release. Palms now to the right side of the left foot and lower your forearms. Just take a breath here. This is a hip opener. Left hip opening. Breathe into it. And then back to the palm. We'll step the left foot back, plank position. Roll onto the right hand, right side plank, left arm up to the sky as you lengthen, left arm over the left ear like a rainbow. Lift your hips as high as you can. If you can, lift the left leg up, star pose. Beautiful. If you can, step the left toes back. A little bit of a wild thing here. And then plank position. Go through your vinyasa, lower slowly, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Lift your chest. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful breath. Inhale the right leg up. Lengthen. Exhale the right foot forward. High lunge. Inhale, arms reach up. A little arch back. We call this crescent lunge. Beautiful breath. Exhale, palms down. Lower the left knee. Pivot your right foot out. Slide the left knee back, right hand back for the left foot. Pull the foot in towards your hip. As you open your heart, rotate your torso to the sky. Beautiful breath here. And slowly release the back foot. Now forearms to the earth on the inside of the right foot. So you feel that right hip opening up with your breath. And coming back to the center, step the left foot forward. Together, hug your legs. And on your inhale, reverse swan dive. Rise back to standing. Top of the inhale. Gently arch back. Exhale. Prayer to the heart. Beautiful. So for the miracle morning yoga practice, the most important thing to remember is stay present. Stay connected to your breath. And stay connected to your intention. The entire practice is a movement meditation and a prayer for your life. So if you have affirmations you're working with, if you have visualizations that you're working with, bring that into the movement practice and let this be a continuation of your seated meditation or any of the other types of practices that you're working on, creating your ideal life. I wish you an amazing, beautiful day full of miracles and magic and beautiful energy surrounded by amazing, wonderful people that support your dreams and goals. And until next time, I'll see you again soon. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Namaste.